Fort Worth police continue to search for the person they say fired a gun last night, injuring six people, including four children. It happened last night along Las Vegas Trail. While city leaders say crime stats are going down, one community leader says more must be done. He spoke with Ali Spilliards. Along the Las Vegas Trail today, there's sorrow. Leaders like Pastor Key of Tatum grappling with what comes next after children became the target of a drive-by shooting. To hear that it was six young people, all under 20, and the youngest being three, it just broke my heart. After seven years of efforts by city and community leaders to improve safety in this pocket of tightly packed apartments, at times riddled with crime, Tatum says last night's shooting outside of the Miramar apartments and townhomes is a sign more needs to be done. Have you seen that it's in impoverished communities where you're having all of these uh, mass shootings, uh, but yet we're not doing anything to address the issues in the black community and we're not doing anything to reduce poverty. As police continue to search for a suspect, today leaders pointed to numbers which show crimes against persons are down significantly from the year before. Something Councilman Michael Crane says shows that what happened here last night isn't representative of the community as a whole. We've invested in the technology and the assets and, and really in the neighborhood and the people. And so what you see is working. Is there a lot, a lot more work to do? Absolutely. Crane also pointed to active youth programs, including a community center. Still, Tatum's calling for a bottom-up revitalization approach, one that empowers those who call the Las Vegas Trail home. We can't always stop these incidents, but we can respond better if we're working together. In Fort Worth, Allie Spilliards, NBC5.